And joining me now from College Park, Maryland, is NBC News' Aaron Gilchrist. So, Aaron, how important does the campaign believe this issue of abortion and reproductive rights is going to be in November, especially in battleground states? Well, I think President Biden has, has said and shown that this is a, an issue that is critically important to him. And so the campaign has really tried to elevate this in the conversations that it's been having on different issues around the country. And I think what we have seen today is by way of Vice President Harris, we saw uh, the First Lady out over the weekend talking about reproductive health, talking about uh, reproductive freedom. And, and this is something that the campaign believes is, is a message that they can, that will resonate with voters who support them and potentially with voters who may be still on the fence. And so what we saw today with Vice President Harris is something that I think we're going to continue to see in the weeks and months to come uh, as she talks about, uh, as she did today, uh, prosecuting the case against former President Trump, laying in his lap the responsibility for the overturning of Roe v. Wade with the Dobbs decision two years ago, saying that he uh, appointed the three justices who ultimately uh, were responsible for overturning Roe v. Wade, saying that uh, this was a premeditated action on his part as she sort of presented a prosecutor's case here in Maryland and today also adding that uh, states have been able to put in place their own abortion bans and they were accomplices to the former president and then you played some of the sound where she talked about uh, him sort of confessing to all this and being guilty of uh, stealing the reproductive freedom of women around the country we talked to uh, one woman Kate Cox who we've heard from before uh, talking about uh, how she needed to get an abortion last year and went to the Texas Supreme Court to try to make that a possibility and ultimately had to leave her state to do that she says that she wants politicians now to listen to women who've been speaking up about their concerns uh, and some of the issues that they've run into since these abortion bans have been popping up around the country. I want you to hear a little bit of what she told me earlier today. Abortion is health care. It's, it's heartbreaking. Sometimes wanted, prayed for pregnancies end in abortion. And my hope to the world is that everyone who wants to bring home a baby, everyone who dreams of expanding their family gets to do that. And abortion care, IVF, birth control are all part of that journey. And what we heard from, from Kate Cox and from Vice President Harris is that this issue of reproductive freedom really is representative of all the other rights and freedoms that Americans experience that they believe would be threatened in a second Trump administration, Yamish. Well, Aaron, thank you so much for that reporting. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.